In this video, we're just going to have a look at the different buttons that you can use when it comes to your shop. So we're going to refresh and now you'll see that we have the traditional add to cart or the buy now button. Now the buy now button is just a simple button that links to the permalink that will show you the product. Or we have the add to cart button from WooCommerce and you'll see here that when it comes to products with variations it will allow us to then select options or on a group product view product so the way it works is I would add to basket and then the page would refresh and it would tell me that the item has been added to the basket to, to the basket and the other one would then here would allow me to select options I would then go through to that particular product select the options and add to cart so that's how the button works and it works far better than the buy now permalink button which just takes you through to the product. So I'm going to head over to the website. The buy now button that I have here we can remove. And you'll see that in the coding it doesn't actually show within oxygen that, uh, that button. So on the web page now you'll see that the buy now button is no longer there and we just have the add to cart button right and so you'll see that that coding uh, doesn't show it's nothing is visible in the back end I'm going to go to that code block and show you the code so the code that we have there is this code over here and I'll make it available under the video and that basically just says um, check what kind of product it is. If it's a simple product, go to the product. If it's not a simple product, then redirect the person to the product page. So that's the coding that we've used there. And you simply paste that in and the button will be created. So at the moment, the button is uh, coming through as the width of the text. If we wanted to make that wider, I haven't tried this before, so I'm just going to set the width to a hundred percent right and I'm gonna save and then I'm just gonna have a look and see if that then changes that button size to yes it does so by setting the width of the code block you will then set the width of the add to cart to change the color this is standard WooCommerce colors so head over here to your website go to manage um, let's go to settings let's go to global styles let's go to woocommerce and let's have a look at buttons and then over here what should happen then is that if i change that to red then we should see a change here and there we have the red button. So the secondary button options are the ones that have a look at the add to cart. So the secondary click to action hover. And I'll just make that then a deeper red. And now you'll see that when I hover over that button, it will then go from the current red to the much deeper red. So that's how you can add the add to cart button. So now if you have a look at the layout, you can have your different buttons, some for on sale, some to show new, and then your add to cart button now works as it should within the WooCommerce framework. So I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching.